This conference will now be recorded. So in our previous class, we were working with agents. Right? So agent is a rule where we can able to have some activity executed automatically based on some periodic time. Okay, so we can able to set some time like a recurring or the periodic one based on this agent will be waking up and it will be running one activity. And all the agents what we're defining here. So we can able to see one agent defined here and there will be many other agents. If I just click here, these are all the agents applicable. Okay, so each and every agent has to wake up at some time and it has to do it some activity. So the, there is so many OOTB agents that are being done. So for all these agents, there will be one master agent that is called system pulse. Okay, so in interest, they'll ask you. So there will be one master agent for all the agents that is system pulse, which will be waking all the time. And it will be just checking what are all the agents that are to be waking up and what are the things that are to be done by that particular agents. Okay, so one master agent called system pulse, it will be monitoring all the agents. After the 30 seconds of time, this agent has to wake up, right? This agent has to wake up and it has to run one activity. So this agent has to wake up. I mean, this will be waking up because of one master agent running. So master agent will be monitoring all the agents and it will be just checking which agent should wake up at what time. Once this agent, agent is waking up, it can able to do its own activity. So that is the, that is secondary. Okay, so whenever our agent is waking up, we can able to have it one activity executed automatically. So the type of this particular mode, agent might be of two modes. So leave about the legacy, this is the oldest one. So it will be having two modes that is like advanced mode as well as a standard mode. So what is advanced mode? If I just select this advanced mode, this particular agent will be waking up for every 30 seconds, whatever time we are giving it here. It will be waking up for every 30 seconds and it will be running the activity. So the purpose of this activity here is I have to update all the work object ID status from new to closed. Okay, so after, for every 30 seconds, what it will be doing, it will be executing this activity and it will be just checking whether there are any uh, new records or not. If it is there, it will be executing it. Okay, so in this 30 seconds of time, I'm not creating any of the new work object IDs, meaning no new uh, work object status will be created. Okay, so no new work object status will be created. In that case also, this agent will be working. So the purpose of this agent is to run all the time for every 30 seconds, okay? So if it is of advanced mode, this agent will not be having any intelligence to just check whether it is whether it is really required to run or not. So in this case, what is really required to run or what is not really required to run? So if I just create few work object IDs now, all the work object ID status will be new, right? So those new work object status are to be updated to closed and that has to be uh, checked for every 30 seconds. That is what this agent will be doing. If at all, if I'm not creating any work object ID for the whole day, okay, if I'm not creating any work object IDs, meaning there will not be any new work object ID status in my database. Even then this agent will be working for every 30 seconds. For every 30 seconds, it will be, uh, this agent will be waking up, master agent will be waking up this agent. This agent wakes up and it will be running this activity. So running this activity in turn will be like a, uh, some impact on the database, right? So if, if it is really required, we can able to have it. But even in this non-required cases also, this agent is waking up, okay? So in that case, we'll be going for standard mode. So agents execution will be of two modes, that is advanced mode and standard mode. So if we go for advanced mode, irrespective of the, uh, irrespective of the time, sorry, irrespective of whether the records are there or not, this agent has to blindly wake up. So this agent has to blindly wake up and has to be executing this activity for every 30 seconds. Even if it is recurring also, it has to do the same. So for every certain time period of, uh, certain period of time, this agent has to wake up. But there will be cases where we, have, we don't want to run this particular agent if there is no records to be updated, okay? So there will be cases where the execution of activity is not required. So in that case, what we'll be doing is we'll be going for standard mode, okay? So if at all any of the agent is kept in the standard mode, there will be one specific option like auto queue management, okay? So if this is marked, if we just save this and this is marked, meaning this particular agent is kept in standard mode and AQM, this is called as an AQM. So AQM is enabled for this. AQM meaning auto queue management. So by the name queue itself, we can able to understand there will be something like a pending task. 
when we are working with work queue or work basket what we have understood so that is one place where it will be holding all the pending items okay work basket or work queue it will be holding all the pending items okay so this particular work queue or work basket whenever assigned to any of the particular operator they will be uh, given access to work on this so if any one of the operator picking up the particular work queue item that item will be automatically removed from the work queue it will be removed from the work queue it will be considering itself as completed so that is the thing we have discussed right the same concept with this auto queue management also so there will be one specific storage for this agent okay so there will be one specific storage and what are all the pending things so considering the same example like uh, considering the same example like work object creation if i create new work object id it will be like an status with new okay so after we creating the work object id what we have to do we have to uh, make that particular work item to move into one of the queue so queue is nothing like an one data table okay so if at all we'll be have if at all if we want to have this agent to be running in an advanced mode and we want to make this to be applied with an aqm aqm is a different concept where we'll be having one database table connected to that all the queue items all the pending items will be stored into the particular table okay so it will be stored into the table so this particular agent will be waking up as per the specified time for 30 seconds it will be waking up this is common so uh, for the first time it is waking up and it will be just checking the corresponding table whether it is having any pending items or not so okay so if it is having pending items only this activity will be executed if it is not having any pending items agent will be waking up and it will not run any of the activity okay so this has a mechanism to identify uh, to just check for the uh, any queue i mean any pending things are there or not so if i just define it like one hour recurring one hour what it will be doing for every one hour it will be just checking so if i'm not creating any of the work object ids for the whole day there will not be any pending items stored into this particular table linked here so the queue will be empty so if the queue is empty even though this agent is waking up it will not be running this particular activity so the difference between advanced mode and the standard mode here is advanced mode will be blindly running for every 30 seconds of time as per the time defined here okay so it will be blindly executed for every 30 seconds of time it will be executing activity each and every time and if it is made with the standard and if we are marking this aqm so in interest they will be asking you what is the importance of aqm so if you are marking this aqm okay so whenever the agent is waking up in the prescribed time it will be just checking whether the whether any pending items there in the queue or not okay if the, if there are any pending items identified in the queue let us say if we are having five pending items identified so this agent is identifying five pending items what it has to do it has to run the activity for the first time i mean for the first record it will be picking up it will be running the activity on corresponding that and it will be removing the record from the corresponding queue okay so the purpose of this uh, queue here is only pending items are to be kept so initially all the pending items will be stored and if it is working on any of the particular record it will be removing it completely so this is just like a work basket right so if any of the particular task has been worked by any of the operator that has to be removed from the work basket it has to be moved out of the queue the same thing here so the particular item the particular pending task will be moved out of the queue and it will be committing it so it will be left with only four pending items then after it will pick up the next one it will be uh, performing the activity it will be removing that likewise so whenever the agent is waking up so once the agent is waking up it is if it is identifying 100 records okay so these 100 records are to be executed at a time at a time meaning one after the other in one shot so in the first time of an act, agent uh, waking up it has to work on each and every item of this particular 100 pending things at once okay if all the items are completed one after the other so this agent goes to sleep and from there it has to be calculated with the remaining time so if it is given with 30 seconds whenever it is going for a sleep from there it will be calculating the remaining time okay so after the 30 seconds it will be again waking up so master agent will be again waking up this particular agent after 30 seconds of the sleep and this will be waking up and before it is running the activity blindly it will be just checking in the particular queue okay so it will be just checking the particular queue so if the queue is not having any of the pending tasks this activity will not be executed 
if q is having any pending task only this will be executed clear right so this is the difference between advanced mode and standard mode so execution wise everything is same okay so in order to have this particular aq management applicable what we have what we can able to do uh, in the in this case or in the real time cases when we are discussing about application of a credit card so if i just apply for a credit card bank people will be asking me to wait for four to five business days what they will be doing at the last after they collecting all the necessary details from me so they will be just clicking on submit button and they will be thinking that the, that will be the last screen from their end after that we will be having something like an utility shape or something so with this utility shape we can able to call one activity and within this activity i can able to store all those details what the, all the customer details what we are collecting it now we can able to put it in one queue table so i can able to create one new table and i can able to consider that as my qr so this queue table will be connected okay so this will be connected and if i if we apply if the bank representative is applying for 10 credit cards per day so 10 queue items will be stored into that particular table okay so if there are no uh, items in the queue this agent wakes up and it will not be running the activity if it is having only pending things only agent will be i mean uh, activity will be executed so that is the difference between advanced mode and the standard mode. okay so each and every agent will be monitored by one master agent called system pulse okay so if we are not defining any of the table prpc will be taking the default value as pr underscore sys underscore q okay so there is one default table for the q that is pr underscore sys underscore q okay all the things will be kept in that q table and this particular agent will be just checking in that q table if it is having any pending tasks or not if it is having pending tasks this will be executed else this will not be executed okay so understood the difference no? so interviews they, these are important so real time mostly 19 percent we may not get chance to work on these agents but interview prospect theoretical prospect they will be asking you so they'll be just checking whether you have minimum knowledge on agents or not that's it they will not be expecting much practical from you in these cases okay and there will be something called agent schedule so what are all the agents we have created everything will be created like an instance here so each and everything should be created like an instance here so the purpose of this agent schedule here is as i told you one master schedule sorry one master agent like uh, system pulse will be monitoring the schedule of each and every agent in this here okay so each and every 